Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am in the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you a little walkthrough of some items that they had months ago um, and some items that I purchased and then just a couple of the makeovers that I've done in the past and sold in my booth and then one item that I made over this year because it was the first time I've ever seen this product but we'll get to that in a minute. I grabbed the pumpkin garland and some other things we'll get to at the end, but I really enjoy these type DIY crafty makeovers, especially if it's an item that I can sell in my booth, which I don't have right now, but I figured you guys might enjoy this too. It's hard to believe we're into October already, but Dollar Tree really had some cute things and they also had some tacky things this year. So, you know, everybody's different everybody has their own taste and that's okay but they really did have a lot of good stuff this year I noticed the bottle brush trees are new and I grabbed the little skull candy dish I gave it a makeover which I'll show in a few minutes I'm always late to the game and posting these type videos <laughs> So some of these items may no longer be available. Okay, so this is some of the things that I have found at my local Dollar Tree. I am going to upcycle some of these, um, like these beautiful frames. These were $3. These were in the Dollar Tree back in August. I just think those are so pretty. And they had three different kinds. So if you wanted to actually use those, I don't know, they may be sold out now because I haven't seen them since I got them in um, August. But I did upcycle one. And I just thought it turned out so pretty. You could do different colors. But I'm going to do something fun. And I'll be sure and share this with you. And then I found this one was over in the five dollar section this stackable was in the five dollar section and um, I'll have to show you what I did with it okay these stackable pumpkins are one of the items that I gave a makeover and I just took some homemade chalk paint painted it a darker orange and then went back in with Annie Sloan dark wax to give it that grungy kind of primitive look I grabbed the greenery garland at Hobby Lobby and twisted it around the pumpkins and then tucked in the Spanish moss, grabbed the moss at um, Dollar Tree and then the plastic planter came from Dollar General last year. I felt like it was kind of plain at this point. So then I went back in and I just tucked in some leaves. But this is my mother's um, entryway and her little breezeway. So I just wanted to kind of spruce it up for fall and give it a little festiveness, if that is a word. <laughs> But I thought it turned out super cute for only $5. And like I said, I already had the planter. So she likes it. It made her happy. So I'm happy. And then all of these other cuties. I'm going to use those in my decor. And then I bought these um, really pretty wooden pumpkins. I did these last year when I was at um, an antique booth here in town, and these did really well. I painted them blue. Not sure what I'm going to do with these this year. But um, those were super fun, and I found these cute little uh, bowls. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Probably use them in my kitchen <laughs> and then I have already given the skeleton a makeover he was actually black but I'm gonna glitter up his eyes and maybe give him a blingy ring or something on the side I thought that would be fun for some candy and then I have been finding these chip brushes at the Dollar Tree there's two in a pack so because they're normally like a dollar at your hardware store or Lowe's or Home Depot and then I found this cute little scraper. This is good to um, scrape paint, like to get that chippy look. And then just 
some other little items that I'm going to use and some staging. I thought this scarf was cute. This is not my color. It's, it's pretty and I do like oranges, but not for my house. And then I think these, yeah, these are clip-ons. So that could be pretty like on a, a stem, a flower stem or something. And then I found this. Oh, I'm sorry. I know that's loud, but it's a pack of all of this neat looking scrapbook paper, which I thought could be fun to do tags. And then be sure and grab some of these um, prayer candles because I have a neat printable that I'm going to give you guys to do some fall and Halloween candles to sell in your booth. So head out to your local Dollar Tree. So go grab some of these glass candles at your dollar store. I think Walmart also has these. I know they have them at Dollar General. I've seen them at Family Dollar. Dollar Tree is going to be the cheapest because they're $1.25, but I think I've seen them at like Family Dollar and Dollar General for $1.99. I don't know how much they are at Walmart, but these are so fun to decoupage and embellish with different materials. I have sold these in my booths for years, um, but I just went to a public domain website to grab these copyright free images and it took me less than 30 seconds per candle to slap the label on there or the photo, but these are just really fun. And you can also, like I said, you can decorate these however you want to. You could use scrapbook paper, fabric, lace, stickers, vinyl. There's just all kind of ways. And I just kind of left these plain, but you could also tie a ribbon around the top. You could do them out with rhinestones or buttons, other embellishments. Just use your imagination. And then Christmas is coming up. And then as I was making this video, I was thinking, oh, these would be cute to pair with like a decoupaged box of matches, like tie tie them up in a cellophane bag and tie a cute little ribbon. But in the past, when I've had these in my booth, I've sold these just plain like this for like six, seven dollars. But the more you embellish, you could get, you know, eight or nine dollars. And then if you, I would think if you tied them up in the cellophane and did matching matches, I would think $10 for this set easily. But again, it's going to depend on your area. It's going to depend on, you know, where you're at. But these are so fun. And, you know, just keep in mind when you, um, if you do go to a public domain website, keep in mind the image itself may not fit. I had to drag these images into Photoshop to min to manipulate the size so it would fit correctly because these are tall candles. They're like 10 inches tall and they're skinny in width. So they're like four inches around. So if you print your images as is, more than likely it's not going to look right. So you may have to play around in Photoshop to get them to fit. But I'm going to have a couple of these on the blog. You guys can go and grab those and try them out. And I'm going to also have some listed for sale in my shop. I'll have the link in the description below if you want to purchase those or if you want to just try some stuff on your own with fabrics and scrapbook paper, you know, you're certainly welcome to do that also. And I would love to see what you come up with, but comment below. Let me know which one is your favorite candle. I put rhinestones on this one. I did one for her headband and then I did one on the shoe. But you could do rhinestones all over these and old jewelry brooches. Um, there's just all kinds of different ways that you could decorate these. But, you know, this may help you bring in a little extra money if you put some in your booth. And again, like I said, Christmas is coming up. So people are always looking for quick grab-and-go Christmas gifts for neighbors, co-workers, their church friends. So just trying to keep you guys in mind, <laughs> trying to help you make a little bit of money this holiday season. And don't make the mistake that I did. Do you see the number here at the top of the glass? Turn your candle around if you're going to put your image on. See how I did this one? So like the number shows, I should have turned that candle around and then put the label on. 
So don't make my mistake. 